There's what we need right over here. Let's take this one. Welcome to another day here at ColoradoSpringSawmill.com. Let's head on in here and get some work done. So we're finishing up a couple mantles this morning. We've got to cut a keyway in for the back of this little guy. It's going to be hanging off of Oh wow, check it out. My helper David's already done it. This is called a keyway. It's how we hang these mantles from a wall. You can see it's beveled back. See, it's angled back. So it's almost like a hook, a ledger. So all we've got to do is make the actual ledger that it'll hang on. Right on, good work. All right, so let's just grab this saw and I'll show you how it's done. All right, the first thing we're gonna need to do is get our tape measure here and find out exactly how big to make the ledge. Looks like we've got three foot six by two by one. Next, we're just gonna set our saw to a 10 degree bevel and make our cut. and cut this off. All right, let's just grab this and get over here and show you how it fits. You see it's got that chamfered edge. That'll hang on the wall. All right, so you can see this piece we just cut will hang from the studs on the wall. You can mount that to the studs on the wall and then you'll be able to, then you'll be able to literally hang the mantle from this piece and just bolt it right to that. So that's how we make a keyway for a log, log fireplace mantle. Let's get over here now and go ahead and put the fi final coat on this other piece we've got here. It'll be the fourth and final coat on this beautiful ponderosa pine log mantle direct from the Black Forest Fire here in Colorado Springs. For those of you guys watching that don't know it, here in Colorado Springs over the last five years, we've had two wildfires that have burned right into town. This is the Waldo Canyon brand. The Waldo Canyon fire burned literally just a few miles just right up there on that hillside. So we try to specialize in... So here at Colorado Springs Sawmill, Colorado Rock and Logs, we specialize in finding unique and creative ways to use the resources we have right here doorstep. And we're happy to fill custom orders and ship this stuff just about anywhere here in the United States and North America. So give, us a, give us a call or look me up online at coloradospringsawmill.com or logfurniturehowto.com. Let's get back to work. All right, so we're using this polyacrylic. Just putting it on with a good brush. Let's get on this last coat now we'll start down here on this other end and work back towards the can. <laughs> okay, I think uh, we'll just let this set up and then we'll roll it down on the top and do, do the top. Okay, so we've given that time to, to dry on the front. Now we're just block sanding the top before we do the last coat. Now we'll just wipe it down. Apply this last coat. All right, what we're looking for just let this dry overnight. Our customer will come and get it tomorrow. Appreciate you watching. This has been Mitchell Dillman with ColoradoSpringSawmill.com and Colorado Rocket Logs. I appreciate you taking time to watch. We'll see you again tomorrow.